watch everything now! An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ending 100 feet. What the f <laughs> It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Hi there, everybody. Hello. Uh, welcome back to uh, another... <laughs> Did that play on camera? Okay, there's another one. Uh, we've got some <laughs> some gashy folks here in the studio today. Um, but hey, it's me, Quentin Rectangle. We're here to cast another major motion picture here with ENS Productions. Uh, and I'm joined today by... Uh, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself to the, to the producers at home? What? <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself to the producers at home? That guy over there with the shirt off? No, no, no. See, there are some folks watching us um, just, just on the other side of that screen there. And they, will, they would love to know a little bit more about you before we start casting the film today. Hello, my name is Ruth the First. I'm 72 years old. All right, terrific. Yeah. Now, Ruth, um, I was told that you'd be joining me mere moments before we began uh, our casting process today. Um, what uh, what role do you have here at the studio? I'm 72 years old. Okay. Woo! Yeah. So perhaps someone's um, parent or grandmother, perhaps, or something to that effect, or maybe. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out as we go, um, folks. Uh, we're making a movie, and we need to cast it first. And there are a number of ways that you'll be able to assist us at home. Okay. So first things first. Oh. Well, thank you so much, all the people subscribing. We really appreciate Say it. The name. Thank you, Boyfingerer. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it wouldn't be Hollywood. It wouldn't be Hollywood without a Boyfingerer. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, we have a bunch of folks watching tonight. Let's 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 hear their names. Idle Spork, uh, Keith is neat. Grass Dragon, Alicia Four Ferris, Milk and Suffering, Scott with too many teas, Taco Tangler. You want to try and read a couple of those, Ruth? <laughs> Don't make her. Brandon! <laughs> That's my grandson's name. Oh, well, okay. I'm glad you're there, yes. He's a piece of shit. And all the rest. <laughs> Those people I said, and Brandon, and the rest. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so, like I said, we're making a movie. We're going to be casting actors, auditioning actors, just across from us here. Yep, you ever seen something like that, Ruth? A big green screen or like that? No. I've never seen a television either. Well, then we have a bit of an uphill battle in front of us. Are you familiar? Okay. <laughs> are you familiar with moving pictures? Um, like the ones where they take their shirts off and throw them around. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. You saw Magic Mike? Um, up close and personal, yes. <laughs> okay, terrific. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be auditioning actors just right over there, and uh, you'll be helping us as we do so, okay? So, uh, if you subscribe to our program tonight, you can let us know if there are any production companies attached to this uh, new production. Here are some production companies from the last film that we cast here, and they're so small, they're so, so tiny, almost impossible to read, but they're all there, you can take a look later. I couldn't even read that, Ruth. No. One time I had sex with Clint Eastwood in the back closet of a storage room. Yeah. Yes! Let's go! Dirty Harry. Uh, wow. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the mule. <What>? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the mule. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's terrific, Ruth. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. uh, Who? <laughs> Sully. <laughs> Play Misty for me. Uh, yeah, so if you subscribe, you can let us know about a production company. If we get 30 subscriptions, we'll go to a premiere of another film, which we've already ca uh, cast and produced and shot and distributed, and we'll get some live reactions from folks leaving the theater. Uh, and uh, let's see, during the audition itself, for $5, we'll bring in a guest director. You can name that director. They'll come in, and, uh, and we'll get their sort of live reaction to the read, to the audition. And uh, I believe that's pretty much everything. Could you uh, repeat it? I had my hearing aids turned off. Yeah, no problem. Say the whole thing again. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Hi, everybody. Welcome to ENS Production. I'm just, yeah, I'm not going to do that. 
I'm just joking. Hey, what's it? Uh, Ruth, I'll fill you in later, okay? You can play catch up as we go. I'm sorry I wasn't listening. No problem. We're going <laughs> to hear from the first actor. And uh, before we do, could somebody remind me the name of the film that we're making? Ruth, did you happen to remember the, the name of the film? Um, I think it was the good, the bad, and the little bit uh, bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> That is very close to what a, a title <laughs> could be that we that we might make, but I think let's go to the chat because I, I, if I'm not mistaken, awesome. I believe they know. I know that's a great. It is a terrific title, and it's my mistake for not asking chat first. Um, let's see, we need some some good juice. The O.J. Simpson story. Oh. What she said. Folks really like what she said. We might go with that. Let's just okay. Do it. Yeah, you know what? That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think let's do that. Let's do that. So it was, what was it? The good, the bad, and the... Little bit bisexual. <laughs> Terrific. My <Yeah>. granddaughter. <laughs> She's all those things. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's all those things. I can't hear you. <laughs> Would you describe yourself as a supportive grandparent, Ruth? Um, well, kind of. My arms aren't very strong, so sometimes when I try to pick her up, my knees buckle. I had surgery on my lefty, you know, it was back in, uh, I don't remember, it was like 2007, I think. And so I was trying, I, you know, sometimes I like to go to bingo, it's usually on Wednesdays, and so when I, uh, when I go to bingo, sometimes both of my legs collapse, and I've had, I had two hip surgeries, you know, and so I, um... Oh, hold for train, hold for train, train, everybody. Thank everybody you. Everybody be careful. Hold for train, hold for train. So oh. I got Ruth. Ruth. <laughs> Ruth. <laughs> Ruth. Ruth, that was a train that just flew through here. Oh. For those not in the know, uh, we built our studio on an active train track to save some money. So It's kind of like white noise. It's kind of, exactly. Yeah, she could fall asleep. Exactly. Exactly, just like falling asleep in front of the TV. I have glaucoma. That's, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah! I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Okay, well, <laughs> so now we have the title, which is terrific. What is the title about? Like, what is the film about? Uh, so let's get the, 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 lo the tagline of this, uh, of this motion picture. Um, let's see, what is the tagline of the film, folks? We're hearing Rocky spelled bisexual wrong. That's wild. Rocky was spelled bisexual. <laughs> he spelled it like it's the name of a dinosaur. <laughs> a, a Williamsburg polycule must rob a train or face the consequences. Wow, that's <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Come that's on. That's it. That's the one. Pull Come the trigger. On. Let's get that one right on the whiteboard. <laughs> wow. Is it B-E-R-G or B-U-R-G? Uh, well, they spell it with a U. <laughs> they spell it with a U. <laughs> Go with your hearts. I agree. <laughs> thank you for the donation. We'll get a guest director in here, Aaron. Thank you. Um, so, without further ado, I think we get the first actor out here. But we, I guess we need the the name of the character they're auditioning for. So it'll be probably one of the members of this Williamsburg polycule. So we need a character that uh, sort of belongs in this here polycule. Maybe the leader of the polycule. Every polycule's got a leader. Every polycule's got... Does he get the, paid? Uh, I think you do get paid if you're part of a polycule, yes. I think the state gives you some money for that. Oh, okay. Um, Mosh, Pat, uh, Thomas, McDefinitely Not Bisexual, uh, Ruth, well, that's I, your name. I, what? <laughs> uh, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, that's... <laughs> I, I think I think we go with Clint Eastwood from First Time Chatter. Pretty good. I think that's good. How do we feel about that? What do you think about that, Ruth? One time I had sex with Roald Dahl. Wow. Wow, wow. I think. Wow. What, did he have a, a BFG, a big a fucking uh, genus? No, he had chlamydia. Okay. You learn something new every day about uh, men of letters. Uh, so let's get this first actor out here. We'll get to know them a little bit, Ruth. And then while we're doing that, we'll discover what the tone and location of this scene will be. Okay. Let's see. Hi there, sir. What's your name? Hey, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> what was that? Hey, thank you so much for having me in here. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you. Well, I'm ve very happy to have you. 
Thank you. Uh, what's your What's your name? My name's uh, Dooley Monet. Hi, how are what? you? What? Dooley, like Dula. What? Monet, like the sauce. Dula Monet. Dooley. I can't. Dooley? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Is Is your lady friend okay there? Uh, she's she a little. Seems very sick. She's a little I hard of hearing. I have osteoporosis. How old and is she? she's a little hard of hearing. How old is she? My name's Ruth the Flores. I'm 72 years old. Ruth is 72 years old. My mother's 66 and she's extremely young and plays tennis five times a week. So doubt it. No, she is. She's really all there mentally. Doubt you might, it. You might be having your own. You might be having your own issues. I have two hips. You were born in 1953, basically, right? I don't know. I don't remember. I can't do math. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Like when you when you were in college, like what was up? What Sorry, was that? someone died. Okay, <laughs> everything okay? It wasn't me. Ruth is still here. Okay, uh, unfortunately. Don't talk like that, Ruth. Ruth, Ruth please. Ruth. Ruth. Ruth, Ruth, please. Come on now. I'm sorry. I think I had a small heart attack. That's okay. Just yeah. pop some Tylenol and move on. Seventy-two is too young for that kind of stuff all the time. So, we got a guest director ready to play. <laughs> okay, here. terrific. Let's let's get them in uh, to give some notes. And, uh, okay. Kick your really fucking about ass. Me, uh, 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 hold on. Hold Rich. on. Christian, no, don't just down. be sorry. Think for one fucking second. <laughs> What the, the fuck are you doing? I'm sorry, Chris. Are you professional or not? Do I fucking walk around and rip sorry, that? Chris. No, shut the fuck up, Bruce. Do Christian. I want? No. No. Don't shut me up. Am I going to walk around and rip your fucking lights down? Christian, I'm sorry. Then why the fuck are you walking right through? Why is the camera guy so mad? I said I said I like this in the background. What the fuck is it with you? See him? He was in the movies. He was in the Batman. What don't you fucking understand? Sorry. I'm sorry. You got, you got any, any fucking, fucking idea, idea about, about hey, <laughs> it's fucking distracting <laughs> having sorry. somebody walking up behind Bryce right. in You're the right. middle of the fucking sorry, scene. Bryce. We don't have a Bryce. Bryce Give Dallas me a Howard fucking answer. Is he what got confused. don't you He's get looking about at Mark it? Right now. Uh -huh. I was looking at the light. Oh, oh good yeah. for you. <laughs> and how was it? <laughs> I hope it was, it was fucking, fucking good, good because it's useless, useless now, now, isn't it? I guess you're right. Fuck's Fuck sake, man, you amateur. Sorry. Sure. Right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you for the note, All Christian. Right, we get back Ooh. into it. Really appreciate it. Absolutely, we should get All back right, into let's it. Get into the guest director. Yeah. Perfect. There he is. Huh? <laughs> Hello! Oh my god, I know who this is. Now, oh, who, what? Hola! Me for amo Alejandro Jodorowsky. <laughs> oh. Director of such films as El Topo and The Holy Mountain. You know it, man. I direct some really crazy stuff. Yeah, and do you, do you have any notes for the actor? A lot of your actors seem to be just sort of lost and confused and sort of pulled off the street. They seem to be kind of strange fellows. Do you have any notes for like a more traditional performance? Absolutely. Hit this. Is what that, are you giving them to smoke? Is that what is that? Marijuana? It's not important, guys. Don't get wrapped up in. There was a little bird in it. He's one of those leftist cowboys, isn't he? In a sense, sure. There yeah. was a little tiny bird and it flew in slow motion. Let's just. Out say, of your pipe? Yeah. There's a little bit of ash and there's a little bit of grass. Oh my god. All right. Um, could you put the gun away, Alejandro? Uh, yeah. Oh, all right. Oh. That's not coming out of there later, no, trust me. For sure, no. <laughs> all right, Alejandro. I, <laughs> Thank you. I think we've heard all we need to hear. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Thank you yep. so much. Thank you. Gracias. That was so freaking cool. I'm actually uh, psychomagic because my religious uh, affiliation. <laughs> now, Dooley, uh, you're playing a member of a polycule. Have you ever uh, been adventurous sexually? Oh, uh, we forgot to change that also. Oh, yeah, it's we're actually gonna... so crazy you bring up the polycule because I'm actually going through some interesting stuff in my life right now. Oh, yeah. Well, hold on. We got to fire this PA. Hey, hey, you. Hey, PA. So happy to be here. I... Hey, I hey, 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 hey. Is he also You're bisexual? Fired. The PA? Yeah. That fellow there in the head? Uh-huh. Are you bisexual? Yeah. You're, yes, you are? Yeah. It doesn't seem like he's convinced. Should we keep him on as a consultant or something? Okay. What do you think? Mm -hmm. All right. We gotta fire this asshole. Well, no, we're gonna we're, we're gonna fire him and then rehire him as a consultant. You're gonna fire me? Yeah. Because I'm bisexual. <laughs> Unrelated. No. You just asked me if I was bisexual. I said yes. And he said we gotta fire this guy. It's, it's just said, because you look yeah. like you work at a seventy-six. It was just poor timing. You gotta Sorry. Sorry. If you want to sue him, I'm gonna sue. I'd like to see you try. 
I don't have social you security. My dad's shit. a lawyer. That's how I got this job. He's an entertainment lawyer. He's a... Is he hot? I mean, <laughs> if I had a dime for every entertainment lawyer I killed, you'd be. Mm. I'd have uh, exactly six dimes. That's too much. You killed six people. You know, yeah, back well, in enter- my day, they don't you go people. to the They're grocery store, all right, and you get a whole loaf of bread for six six pennies, I think maybe seven. It's within the fifties, maybe eight. You would get a loaf of bread for six pennies. Maybe in the nine. I don't know. You Are you just, sure about it's, that? Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. You go, you go to the grocery store, and you get eggs, and you get bread, and you get everything that you need, and then it's you know nowadays it's just everything costs too much. You know, you it costs. You went to the moon when you were like ten years old. Who's you this went guy? to the when you were like 10 years old. Well, then she's a man named Dooley Monet, and we're going to get into audition Monet. here in a second if we can fire Monet. this PA. Okay, PA, you're fired, but stick around because we're going to need to know more about your experience as a bisexual person. Fuck. Fuck you, dude. All right. Yep. Goodbye. <laughs> Dooley. Yeah, so I was saying about it, uh, it's crazy, this role, because I'm going through something in my own personal life that's actually been giving me a lot to think about. Okay, tell us a little bit more about that. Okay, yeah, well, basically, so, uh, I've been I've been sleeping with the love of my life, but it's been very uh, uh, tough on me. How so? <laughs> Great timing. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so here's the thing, right? So there was this girl, her name was Elaine. I was in love with her for a long time. <laughs> And then she ended up getting married to some guy, and it broke my dang heart, it devastated me, it made me so sad. Um, but then it turns out the guy she's with, right? The guy she's with is actually, he's got one of these things where he wants to do a cuckold thing. He's got a fetish, right? So Elaine reaches out to me, and she's like, you're the only one I feel safe with. And so I've been sleeping with Elaine, but the guy's always there, and it's very conflicting because on the surface I thought, well, now I get to Don't let him! My- <laughs> Were you, Ruth, were you dreaming about Bill Clinton? Former President Bill Clinton? I got to uh, thinking no. that it was going to be everything I wanted, but then it actually, the dynamic, the power dynamics involved, the, 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 the power dynamics involved actually made it so it's not a pleasurable experience. Very conflicting for me. All right, well, use that, I guess, to the extent that you can, to the extent that it's pertinent. Um, it's crazy because you think sex is just kind of a physical thing, but that's... I'm realizing now there's a lot of psychological elements to it as well. Oh, really sometimes your bones are very fragile, so it's a little bit less physical than you would like it to be. Yes, I kind of like that. Ruth, you've been around the block a bit. Is there uh, any sort of sexual uh, backstory you could bring to this uh, situation here? Any kind of advice maybe you could give for somebody who's in this weird sort of sexual dynamic? Um, well, take your diaper off before and put it back on after. Okay. It will, will that make the man go away? Because I don't like when the man's in the room. I even don't. Even though I'm having sex with his wife, it feels like he's in control. Of the There's situation. a third person involved. The third man. It feels and like they're he's watching. in control. Where are, I'm having sex with his wife, it feels like he's in control. Where are they? They're in the room watching. We're at their house. We have like, to go to their house so he can want behind who, the curtain. So you, wh- who are you having sex with? His wife. And then where, where's he, where his wife is in the room with you and you're having sex with yeah. him? No, I'm having sex with his wife. And, and what is watching. what is he doing? He's watching and pleasuring himself. What is he watching? Us having sex, me and his wife. <laughs> and it, and it's, it's difficult for me because on the surface I'm having sex with his wife, which is what I wanted. On, like on but top of the sheets? Because, yes, on top of the sheets, so he could see. But it's difficult because it feels like he's in control of the situation. Wait, <laughs> so it doesn't feel like he's good. holding on to you with his hands? No, He's not con- physically. Is he forcing you into his work? No, are you- not physically, psychologically. He doesn't touch me. <laughs> so he's using telepathy to have your no. cock slide into her vagina. No, he's using social dynamics. I, he kind of seems like a hit it from the back guy, to be honest. So he's using a dynamo no. to slip your little wiener into her vagina. No, he's using my psychological profile to manipulate me into sleeping with his wife in a way that gives him control over both of us. That's right. He's using scene. your he's using <laughs> he's using your Facebook account to I don't get, get his I don't what's know. Facebook. So what's the uh, thing about it's like where a, am I? It's like a book online. Where you can look at dogs. Is that where he posts his penis on the internet? Are you posting your penis to Facebook? No, I have to send him pictures of my penis. Facebook. One time I accidentally tweeted a picture of my cooter. So you know how to use Twitter. You've never heard of a television set, but you know how to use Twitter? I... 
<laughs> but you've never heard of the concept of a television set? <laughs> but you tweeted a picture of your own vagina? Don't you fucking talk to Ruth like that! Stop, Ruth, stop, stop, how Ruth, dare you! Stop, Ruth, Ruth, I can see the misunderstanding. Stop, Ruth. Ruth, you are using... Oh, you, Ruth, Ruth, <laughs> Ruth, what you refer to as a tweet is actually a carrier pigeon, but this gentleman here... Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Yes, this I gentleman here, the internet. yeah, this gentleman here is referring to something that uses the ones and zeros, the online stuff. You know what the kids are up to. Okay. It's like a little box of electricity. Oh, so like a the. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, so what's happening is this well, you know, so, <laughs> right. Well, so <laughs> I don't say that's a telegraph, but that's fine. Did you um, telegraph a picture on my cooter? You used to. Yeah. You use the Pony Express slash Telegraph to send a picture of your cuter. That's exactly right. That's perfect. Hey, so, hey, we have production okay. companies that are supporting this film. Let's take a look at some of them. Flashers McFlappins. Great work they do. Fuck's sake, man. You're amateur production companies. <laughs> Similar to what Christian was saying. Uh, Dima Anonymous Productions. D-I-M-A Anonymous Productions. Is that some kind of slur we actually sent we said out loud? It's possible. Do you think we said a slur? I don't know. If it's a slur, I apologize. Sometimes we do that where we say a thing we've never seen before and it's a slur, actually. I'm 72, so. <laughs> so, so it's okay when you say it? Is that what you're Thank saying? Thank you, Ruth. <laughs> Thank you. So no. where am I? What's going on in this scene? And so in mind? this scene, you're playing a Clit Eastwood. Clit Eastwood? And he's and what's the tone and location of this scene? This scene takes place in a casino and it's an after-school musical. It's an after-school, after-school musical, musical about a bisexual. And my name's Clit Eastwood. And what sort of my, because I'm trying to use what's going on in my personal life into the theme. So what? Please don't. <laughs> you don't think I fit incorporated into the theme as my my? No, it's my sad. Own, Ruth, I think it'll be Ruth. Motivation. I think it'll be helpful. It'll allow him to sort of find a richer emotional truth within his performance. Okay. Be, All right. Fine. Ruth is against it, but I think that we got. Now what's happening here? Now this guy's cool. Hey, what what are you doing? Is he one of those TikTokers? Now, how do you know about TikTok? I used to think I was cool when I was having sex with another guy's wife. <laughs> Thought I was cool being a bull. I've never felt weaker and smaller. <laughs> like when you were underneath his wife? No, not f- just in general now in my day to day life. Okay. I'm so distracted by this PA. I don't know what's happening. His PA, he's doing quite a lot here. Oh, wait. It's, we, we have it's more embarrassing, produ- but it's working. Somehow we have more production companies. This Balsamic Productions, thank you so much. And Okie Dokie Productions, perfect, thank you so much. Um, okay, so you're in this scene, you're going to be... That's lunch. All right, that's lunch. Do I have to take my teeth out? Okay. So we all get For out this here. scene? No, I don't think so. So me and Ruth are going to be reading the part of. Uh, Do you think we can get to nine o'clock without ever reading a line? If we work really sure hard. Right. <laughs> if, that could be good. That could be good. I if left we, my glasses at home, so if I can't we put read. our minds to it, there's nothing that we can't do. It's just Hollywood. I'm not here to put on this insane costume and stand there for Just hang out over there. <laughs> just hang out and watch. Stay <laughs> cool, and then you can get out whenever you're ready to go. <laughs> He we'll looks. Be doing the he looks like that big, strong guy that uh, <laughs> Federico Fellini put in all of his movies. Yeah, right? My ex husband. He looks like that guy. Your ex husband. <laughs> you really? That that guy. One of them. Probably born in like 18 something. That's crazy. Well. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna put the sugar fish in the microwave. Yeah, great, 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 perfect. <laughs> in the microwave to think of. Hey, <laughs> let's start the scene, huh? Can we start the scene? Are well, we ready to start the scene? scene? Though we haven't talked about. I've the scene. I've been trying my level best to talk about what happens it's in the scene. It's an after school musical. Hey, shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth and we'll fire you. Wow, Ruth. Ruth, have you been hitting a voodoo, the Voodoo Ranger hard tea when I have been Ruth, looking? you've been hitting yeah. the Voodoo? I'm just glad it came out that end. <laughs> Aren't we all? Right. As long as it comes in the mouth end, it's the best tea on the damn planet. So, hey, let's so jump into the scene. Yeah, so I'm we, saying let's jump into the scene. What's the scene? We've never talked about right. what the scene is. You are Clint Eastwood. You are talking to two members of your polycule in this casino. <laughs> and we'll the other one? You and me, we're going to be reading the part. You, you, we have the script. Oh, okay. You know? so, so you'll be able to just re- read the other parts of the scene. Okay. We'll do the scene reading with him. Okay. Okay, are you ready? And they're, they're, they're getting into a little back and forth about some of the sexual tensions under undergirding this poly. Oh, that can be great because I can use the stuff I'm going through right now with my own sexual uh, torment. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, all right. Slate, are you ready? No, it's right. Clint Eastwood, I'm glad that you met us here at this casino to discuss some of the difficulty I've been having with you sexually. 
Hey guys, thanks so much for coming today. I know we have a lot of things on the agenda, but I just wanted to make sure we all got our $50 in chips at the beginning so that once the meeting is concluded, we can go spread out and enjoy ourselves at uh, uh, various game tables. Did you get your chips? Um, yes, I ate them. Uh, uh oh, well, one of us is digesting the chips as we speak. Oh no, there seems to be a misunderstanding. Listen, guys, I want to talk to you guys about a special project. I think it could bring us all together, because I don't know about you, but I felt crazy and weird all the time lately. <laughs> Tell us more. I've been feeling a little off as well. I've been feeling this crazy thing where it's like, I'm Where's having, the part that he has sex with my wife? So I'm having sex with this lady, right? I think he's, he's getting to And as far as I've always been raised to believe, sex is almost like a domination aspect of, to it. Like, there's, there's an element of control and power. And I guess what I've been noticing is sometimes people can manipulate that power in ways that you don't expect. And then it creates a situation where you feel all fucked up and weird. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've noticed that as well. So why don't we rob? Well, what's the bank? solution? Why don't we rob a bank? <laughs> you want to rob a yes, bank? Yeah, we, we should rob a bank. And what what would our roles be? What would our respective roles be? Every every crew's got to have a role. You'll be the good, you'll be the bad, and I'll be the little bit bisexual. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> they said the line of the movie. That's perfect. Yes, she said the thing. Wow. All right. I think I'm interested. I'm not but all the way bisexual. I'm one of the normal type ones. Mm. But I, but I've been playing my life straight as an arrow my whole my whole life. I've been above. I've been you know on the right side of the law. You want me to break the law just to reignite our sexual life? Sometimes we break laws that, while are on the books, are not morally sound. For instance, you can be married to someone and you're supposed to not have sex with anyone else. But there's this crazy thing you could do where you, you, you get them to have sex with, like, someone else. I feel like but he's okay. projecting. Yeah. But it's okay when you do that. All right, let's cut. God. All right, so there's some good notes here. There's some good things. You got to the part about the bank robbery. That's an, that's an essential part of the script. Thank you, thank you. But I think that uh, some of this much. other stuff about the, the bull stuff, I mean, that's a little too personal, don't you think? I was just trying to channel something. It seems say, like he's trying to work through something. Before we move forward, let's just say real quick, thank you to Aaron for donating $150. You're being so generous. Can I have some? We'll see what we can do about getting some of that money. Okay. Just kidding. I don't have social security. Why not? Why not? You should. Too many crimes. Too many crimes? I don't know if crimes really stop them from paying. Oh, out. they do. They do. You were working primarily in the 1980s? Uh-huh. That's when the most of your IMDb credits are? What? Most of your IMDb credits are from the 1980s? That? Do I need a cream for that? No. IMDb? IMDb. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, you don't need a cream for that. No, that's just online. It's, it basically just describes the stuff that you've done for work. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you have it. Okay. Enough, <laughs> enough said. Don't you think? But no, uh, we don't need to get, <laughs> need to get into that too much. Hey, so um, what did you think about that that read, Ruth? Oh, I forgot it. The whole scene? You There's something. I, I'm sorry. I hate to do this. A 72 year old not supposed to be this level of incommunicable, and I think there's something going on with Ruth. I think Ruth is sick, and I think Ruth needs help. And I, think I can't hear what he's saying. What do, you, what do you think, Ruth? I are think you, we're dismissing hey. this as like, oh, she's so cute, she's a little older. I think Ruth needs help. Is he hitting on me? <laughs> I feel like he's hitting on me. God damn it. Oh, hold great. for train, everybody. Thank uh, you. Hold for train, hold for train. Hold for train? Puts you right to sleep, does it? Every time puts it's you so right soothing. to sleep. It fakes the room like a massage there. Now, why are you doing that face there? Ruth, 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 Ruth. Oh, sorry. I okay. was having a dream about the Second World War. Well, you, were, you were negative. Were you in the old. war? <laughs> were you in the war? No, she was not. If she's 72, she I was know, not. right. My, my ex husband died in the war. <laughs> How would that work? In, he, in Gulf War? No, he went to a bowling alley and he tripped and slipped and broke his neck. <laughs> Wait, fire the PA. So not at all at the war. Hey, PA, you're well, fired. Well, I was during the war. You're fired. Get out of here. What's up? You're fired. Hey, ah! you're fired. Get out of here. Thank you. Get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. 
So, isn't that crazy how cool he was and how much he seemed in control of the room in the situation, yet the whole time you were the Machiavellian man pulling the strings? And that you were actually able to pull out the rope from under him. Is that the guy who was fucking your wife? Look who's back. Why are you rehired? I was on the phone with my dad and somebody came up and knocked on and said, Hey, sorry about the bisexual stuff. You're hired again. All right. I'm not going to fight that. Are you excited to be working and bisexual? Am I excited about being bisexual? Are you excited bisexual? to be back at work and bisexual? Are you excited to be bisexual? You don't have to pick one nowadays. That's so true, Ruth. It's true, you don't have to pick. You could be both excited and bisexual. Yeah, those aren't mutually exclusive. I'm not excited to be back, but yeah. Hey. My sexuality, hey. I'm stoked on. Hey. It's pretty cool because you get more options. Hey, listen to me. Look at me. Hey, look. It gets better. He doesn't seem beat what? up about it. It gets better. He doesn't seem and you that would excited. Know? You would know? No. <laughs> So you are you saying you're in the closet, Phil? Is that what you were implying in that? Did no. you go back in? Oh no, I'm just that's just. Are you implying that I'm in thing. the closet? It just seems to be a thing that people say. So, so we run this scene. What are we thinking? Sure. Did we get a single no from me? I'm a pass on this guy. Okay. Yeah. Let's get the next one in. <laughs> what the fuck? No, let's get the next actor in. No, no, no. Hey, no. Let's get the next actor in. No. Give me one more. <laughs> wow. Your desperation is really fine. Tugging fine, my heartstrings. Fine, fine. No, 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 no. It's fine. <laughs> fuck no, no, no. Stick around. Fuck this. No, no, no. God forbid around. I do a fucking voice on the show. No. God fucking hey, forbid we hey, reward that. Don't bail. No, don't it's bail. Not no, don't you bail. Don't bail. You actor. come right back out here. God don't you bail. Chris fucking stretches himself as an actor. <laughs> it was good, too. I liked it. God forbid that. Okay. He seems to be having a bit of a fuss. These actors are temperamental. You can't uh, take anything they do seriously. They're like, um... Oh, is it flighty. because of all the alcohol? Oh, sure, absolutely. And the sepsis. They have very right. sepsis. You had sepsis back when you were in Hollywood, right? Yes, lots of sepsis. Sepsis and substances. I lost both my legs. Have you ever done crack cocaine, Ruth? Uh... About three o'clock, yes. <laughs> it, does it, is it still coursing through your veins? Do you feel like a bull? Yes, a little bit. Yes, I'm, I think so. Well, that's awesome. Ruth, I think this is the beginning of a terrific friendship. No, probably not. Action? Is that where we're... Yep. All right. Oh, wait, I'm in the scene now? Yep. All right. I don't, know, I don't know the script. You're, you're going to ask us to rob a bank because we're all fucking. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, guys. Yeah? You wanna... What am I, I robbing a bank? You wanna rob a bank with me? He's not very convincing. I think he gets the part. What do you think? Um... We've got a guest director coming in. What? Am I, am I auditioning now? Yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, you're auditioning, man. It's me, the Voodoo Ranger. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, Voodoo Ranger. Wow. You know, your your drink sends me uh, right to heaven. Yep. Like a, like an angel. Mmm. <laughs> so delicious, I forgot what you said. <laughs> Voodoo Ranger, you have any notes for our actor? <sighs> Listen, kid. Does this guy know about acting? Drink this. <laughs> Smell it. Take a whiff. I don't really want to drink it. Let it inhale and be inside you and engulf you in its scents and aromas. It smells pretty fruity and nice. Inhabit the voodoo ranger. Uh, Mr. Ranger, I noticed that your nipple is out. <laughs> oh, sorry. I meant to have both of them. Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Root. Did you want to join? Uh, I don't know. I'm just self-conscious. Your boobs are nicer than mine. Yeah, I got a nice rack. Can we expect to get a rack that nice if we drink Voodoo Ranger? You bet your sweet ass you will. Woo! That's a guarantee. Thanks, Voodoo Ranger. You got it. Remember, kids, if you want big boobs, drink Voodoo Ranger. Yeah. Nice, nice. Sometimes when I walk, my knees hit mine. Do you mean that your your knees will strike one another as you're walking? No, they hit my boobs. Oh. There, oh. it, gravity's really done a number on him. Also, I'm dried up like the Sahara Desert. I think we've had enough so of the like, bisexual. Yeah, can I just yeah, you go just back fight. to being the PA? Yep. Cool. All right, great work though. Thanks. Thank you, bisexual dude. What? Really good work. Oh, no. Was, on the whole bisexual Somebody says, show. okay, we don't, it's not, like it's, it's not like work. It's not like work. 
That's just me. That's just who I am. <laughs> work. You better work, bitch. What's going on with the <laughs> camera, bro? W-E-R-K. You better work. What's going on with the camera, dude? I don't know. I think that was the, the cameraman crack just cocaine. keeps whipping this the... This is what Ruth sees. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ruth's... It looks Ruth the exact vision. same to me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. You better work, work. Okay. W-E-R-K. Are you familiar with that spelling of work? Mm, no. All right. So let's let's cast a different member of the polycule, okay? So we need another character, another person in the polycule. We need the name of another character from the polycule. Folks out there in the chat, let's get another name for a polycule member. <laughs> Evil Dad, Bimbo Baggins, oh, Mad too. Dog Greg, <laughs> Dirk Perp, Chris Pratt, Jeff Shton. <laughs> Dick Ryder, Gerald, <laughs> Seymour Butts, and oh, Peepness, Horace, Horace is pretty good, Typhoid Mary, Peter Griffin, Lionel, <laughs> Mary Bottoms, Bendover, that's good, Teddy Higglesworth, Poppy, John, uh, Chauncey Longbottom, that's great, Adam Smasher, first time chatter, Chauncey Longbottom is going to be the name. Typhoid Mary Peter Griffin. <laughs> well, that was two different submissions, but the two together would be it's a, a real name. bomb. Typhoid Mary Peter Griffin. Yep. So I have to name my daughter that. That's actually just part of the lyrics of the latest uh, version of We Didn't Start the Fire. <laughs> Typhoid <laughs> Mary Peter Mary Griffin. Peter it's like when I mix bleach and vinegar and then I and smell it. <laughs> See, that's where we go. Oh, yeah, that's where we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fan of Billy Joel? Um, which part of him? Oh, the part that plays the piano. Here now. Oh yes. So you've had sexual relations with Billy Joel? Probably, yeah. I'm pretty sure. You're about the same age, so there's nothing really illicit about that. You've had a, it sounds like just a pleasant relationship. Yeah, it was. I mean, most of it was nice. We don't need to go into that any further. No. I think we can leave that be. All right, so we got the next character, Chauncey Longbottom, and we need a we need a, the actor to come out. So, so let's have that actor come right on out on stage. There's your mark right there. Yes, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, what's your up? Oh. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> Oi, what's up? It's me, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> The Mickey Mouse. The real Mickey Mouse. See in the flesh, huh? So crazy that we have Mickey Mouse here. Is here. He went with the dog ears. <laughs> I Mickey. don't really like British people that much. Mickey, <laughs> your ears are looking a little flaccid. A little more flaccid than usual. Well, then you better excite me, mate. This better be a good roll. <laughs> Did he just change accents? <laughs> accents schmack sets, mate. Yeah. I think he's just following everything he's saying with me. <laughs> I think, yeah, you know what? He sounds authentico to me. You're goddamn right, mate. <laughs> Mickey, I wasn't aware that you were from across the pond. Most people don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> now you're Scottish. You now you're very Scottish. <laughs> this silly amusement park is still in all my thunder. <laughs> But one thing is true about me and Mickey Mouse over here. We both love cheese. <laughs> I'm sorry, so you're not the Mickey Mouse that we associate with the theme parks and stuff? Oh, absolutely not. That guy's had eight cunt. Okay. We're gonna have to sure. that. <laughs> so sorry. It must, it must be very hard for you as a performer to have the same uh, name as a much more well-established actor. You might notice my skin's a little light. It's because I've been sitting in his shadow for years. <laughs> Interesting. Well, perhaps you'll have an opportunity to break out from behind your shadow. What do you think about that? One time Walt Disney bent me over a kitchen counter. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Christ. What were you, did, was he trying to give you the Heimlich? What was happening? I don't remember. <laughs> Sounds like doggy to me. It's probably, honestly, it's worse that you don't remember, Ruth. Yeah. <laughs> it's anyway, oh boy, uh, Mickey. Um, are you an actor? Are you a trained actor? Like, have you done roles in the past? Are you a well-established actor? Uh... Oh, I've always tried. Right, so you uh, have you taken classes? Do you have a method? I used to have a subscription to Mad Magazine. <laughs> What's that? It's like a... It's like, a, you know, Time Life? Uh -uh. Or like the New York Times? Uh, no. It's a newspaper. You must know about a newspaper. Well, you, you must know about newspapers. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like a newspaper, but funny. Oh, sometimes I like to read the uh, the obituaries and you know, 
So you do know a newspaper. So you know about newspapers. <laughs> yeah, but that's the funny part. The obituaries? <laughs> yeah, because sometimes Gretchen, she's kind of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey, I've noticed you brought food to the audition, which I feel is shockingly unprofessional. Well, fuck you then, man. Yeah. I love cheese. If I don't have my cheese, you expect me to act? What do you think this is, amateur hour? <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. Let me walk that back. I'm dealing with a professional here. Uh, Mickey, are you off book? What the hell does that mean, mate? <laughs> I'm not off book, I'm on cheese. <laughs> wow. Really wow. You got your ass, Fandango, oh, or whatever your new name is. Rectangle. <laughs> shit, that that rectangle. Rectangle. Stupid geometry man trying to tell me to read a book, man. I'm eating my cheese. Hey, not every square is a rectangle, but Mickey. every rectangle's a square. God no, damn no, right. right. <laughs> Mickey, <laughs> are you ready to do the audition? Do you know your lines? Uh, oh, is that what you mean with the whole book thing? Uh, yes. Uh, Somebody called me. We got another oh. guest director. Oh, hey, it's me, the Voodoo Ranger. <laughs> oh. oh, hey. Hey, mama. Anybody got, anybody got a cup holder? Oh, wait. I could just rest it right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to be able to do that. A little maple for ya. <laughs> Hey, did anyone see my basketball? <laughs> <laughs> this is canon in the Voodoo this Ranger is, universe. It's just canonical. Uh, Ruth, what do you think about you, that image right in front of you? Yeah, I used to look like that. Gravity gets a hold of you, and it just... It really it holds everything downward. Well, Voodoo Ranger, do you have any notes for Mickey Mouse before his big turn? Um, drink Voodoo Ranger and you'll have tits just like mine. <laughs> Yes! I have a feeling. I have a feeling no matter how many times they come out here, that's going to be the note that we get. Oh. That's just the hunch that I have. No matter how many times we pay for this. It's really crazy when you look at my full body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you're want to. You look awesome. It starts to look really crazy. When you're you all, your proportions body. are crazy. <laughs> I think you need to drink a little more VD Ranger. <laughs> A little shit, there you go. Okay, I think no, we've been, I think been jail, jail. real nice. Hang on, hang on, keep at it, keep at it. Yeah. I think yeah. we've seen about as much of this as we can. <laughs> what are you about to do? What are you about to do? Uh, perfect. Perfect. This looks, looks really, really good. good. That looks really good. It's perfect. It looks uh, pretty, actually. Wallace. Oh. Yep. Mmm. Oh, I didn't know you could leave like that. Even better uh, than wide. This is playing really well. All because of the power of Voodoo Ranger. <laughs> and Voodoo Ranger will make you have tits like mine. Why? Oh, that's lovely. Why does he have green right. women's underwear over his arm? <laughs> it's a good question. It's a really good question. We don't know. I'm pretty sure that was my uh, my my blouse from earlier. Uh, uh, Mickey, are you ready? To, Mickey, are you ready to portray somebody who's part of a group that fucks? Like oh, a group, of, a group of people that have sexual relations with one another. You didn't tell me that's what I gotta be. Yeah, you gotta be a member of a polycule. It's in the script. I, this is why I was asking if you'd read the script or were ready to to do the role. Don't you think it's a little strange to have such a kid-friendly model be having sex in your movie? Mm -hmm. You signed up to audition, Mickey. And I you am, signed up to be here. I'm Mickey Mouse, man. You can't be having me having sex on screen. Well, now, Mickey, Mickey, maybe this is the way to distinguish yourself from your uh, compatriot that, that's got so much more popularity than you. You can be the sexual version of Mickey Mouse. You can be the Mickey Mouse that fucks. He doesn't fuck. Look at him. Kick your fucking ass! No, oh, Christian, I am sorry. I am sorry, Christian. What happened, Christian? No, don't just be sorry. Think for one fucking second. I'm trying to think, what Christian. What the fuck are you doing? Hi, I'm Bruce. Are you professional or not? Do I fucking walk around and rip that? No, shut the fuck up, Bruce. Do I want? No. I wasn't gonna say anything. No! Somebody get Bryce Don't shut here. me up! This is ridiculous. Am I gonna walk around and rip your fucking lights down? In the middle of the Find Bryce, where's then Bryce? Why the fuck are you walking right through? Oh, da 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 da, like this in the background. I'm sorry. What the fuck I'm is sorry. it with you? Fucking insane. I am sorry. Why don't you fucking understand? 
Get him a fucking voodoo ranger or something. Right. Can we get him a you voodoo ranger? You got any fucking, fucking idea about, about hey, hey, it's, it's fucking, fucking distracting, distracting having somebody walking up behind Bryce in the middle of the fucking scene. Just calm down. Are you okay? Well, give me a fucking answer. It's all chill. What don't you get about it? I, both of my legs are numb. <laughs> Oh, good no. for you! And how was it? Not good. I hope it was fucking good because it's useless now, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck sake, so. man, you amateur. Really. Very ableist Christian. Alright, All right. let's All right. back in. So let's jump into the reading. Um, <laughs> yeah. So what's the, what's the tone and location of this scene? Oh. Did we get a tone and location for the scene? Tone, uh, location, all this shit is secondary. It's about the actor's soul, their spirit. It's a prison cell, and it's an Oscar-winning scene. All right. all right. So, wow. We have, like, three <laughs> guest directors. <laughs> oh, this is the one that's supposed to win the Oscar okay. this season. That's true. That's okay. true. An Oscar? <laughs> is that one of them big, shiny awards you got over here? Yep, I should, it's exactly like that. It's very similar to this, right here. We've got oh, don't a, touch that a, one. A pair of guest directors coming in. Wait, why not touch that one? <laughs> I tried it out earlier. Oh, my God. Rude. Uh, but you said you were dry as a bone down there. I am. It smells you, like hot. What'd you use to lubricate the device? Voodoo Ranger? Right. Yes! Woo! That stuff does everything. This works as a lubricant. Mm hmm. All can. And that's on God. It really smells like deli meat now. <laughs> that's so true. Sorry. Let's get this, this guest director in here. Oh, it's two of them. Okay, great. Oh. Oi! It's me, fat bastard. <laughs> and I'm White Shrek. <laughs> It's good to see you again. They ask for high concept characters, and this is what we do right. in response to that. Really happy to be I'm here. I'm Fat Bastard. <laughs> and I'm White Shrek. Who? Fat Bastard from what? the Austin Powers. What White. makes you White Shrek? What, it's just Shrek's green. green. That's true. That's so true. So by proxy. This Shrek's not green, it's White Shrek. That's a great point. Um, it does smell like onions. No, that's just me. Oi! Oh, so, oh, that's just Ruth. Uh -huh. I've, I've not understood the two of you to be directors, so maybe you have some, some notes that maybe come from the perspective of a performer. I shot three colors. <laughs> you, you, shot, <laughs> you shot, like, I always thought that was Christoph Kishlaf. No, no, okay. wrong. That, I guess was, so. fat that was Fat Bastard. bastard. Yeah. And you're a director, mate. You gotta watch some movies. Watch some movies. I guess so. I'm sorry, I'm a casting director, to be fair. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tell me Michael Bay didn't make no country for old men. Yeah, you gonna say that? Call it! I didn't question. hear what he say said. That? Yeah. Say it! You're right, that's my mistake. You know, you're gonna say why Shrek didn't city. make Marriage Story. <laughs> that's true. As if I didn't live the entirety of Marriage Story. About his relationship with Jennifer Jason Lee. Come on now. Did you tell Did you show Adam that he had to punch a hole in the wall? Did you tell him that he had to do that right, right Shrek? Was that yeah. you? We All did right. it in reverse. So we had, it was actually already in the wall. All right, so my note for you. When you're looking at your scene partner, I want you to look at them and think, get in my belly. <laughs> and conquer them. Okay. Yes. Good. Perfect. And my note is, well, there are five kinds of onions. <laughs> oh, here we go. And they all know. have layers. So I want you to get down to the third layer of your core being. Let's not go surface level, okay? We're going to want to get Whoa. closer to the part that makes you cry when you cut it. I right, didn't. I fell asleep it. a little bit while he was talking. I do too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, that's what I mean. Let's white, get out of here, White Shrek. Thank you, White Shrek and Fat Bastard. I, I try not to. I try not to listen to white people. Yeah, me too. I try to be. I, you know, it's like the note that I've gotten from HR departments here at the studio is listen to white people less. So I try to tune that shit out. Right. And here comes another guest director. <laughs> Is it really? Yep. <laughs> it's incredible how much great directors you have. Yeah, we, it's a real stable. We keep them on contract. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Holy mother of pearl. Hey, I think it's I know me. the story here. Even bigger boobs, Voodoo Ranger. <laughs> did they They're request playing. for even larger breasts? Did that? They sure did. That's and awesome. And look at this. The that. same bit from before. Wow. Oh, Holy cow. It's fine because I don't remember the one earlier, so. <laughs> I've tried to enter a fugue state. Do we want to do the thing where you... <laughs>
perfect. Yep, perfect. It's, like, it's incredible. It's just, it's just tri- your breasts are all oh, over the floor. Are magic. Your breasts are too big to eat the voodoo over the top. And I'm going to call Smith, eat your heart out. They're going to blow! All right, all right. Let's anyway, back to work. if I had some advice for you, it's... um. Squeeze the nipple. Oh, I think there's something over there. <laughs> oh, <I> think... <laughs> holy shit! They're real, man. No, they're not. Trust me. No, I'm telling you. I feel like lines of sun. They are real, and no, it's all thanks not. to drinking Voodoo Ranger. Goodbye. No. <laughs> Bye, Voodoo Ranger. Thanks for your help. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ruth, I'm sure you followed all of that to a T, right? So we're doing a br- the reading. It's uh, you're auditioning for the role of Chauncey Longbottom, uh, Mister uh, Mouse, Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Mr. Mickey Mouse, and uh, we're gonna have Ruth read the part of uh, another member of the Polycule. You've been arrested, okay, for having for trying to break into the jail. Okay. So, am I in jail? You're both in jail. Oh, okay. All right. Which city? <laughs> would that be would that, that be helpful for you? Yeah, extremely. I believe New York City. Is New where York it. City. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a, sh- a, a set of experiences there in New York that you'd like to pull from there? Make Never been there in my life. All right. Wow. So you said it with such rueful knowledge, like you had a sort of a fun little. I don't want to talk. I've about seen Homeland too. That helps. You have a story from New York that you don't want to talk about? Yeah, no, I don't want to talk about it. Fair enough. We have some production companies here that we'd like to mention. Uh, Marvel Triple X Studios, the superhero ones, but they have sex. And Balsamic Productions, terrific. Really good. Awesome. You, are, you, are you a fan of the Marvel superhero uh, films there, Ruth? Um, I think I might have had sex with one of the Batman actors. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess either Adam West, Kevin or, Conroy. Again, based on the fact that you're 72, I think it's Michael Keaton makes the most sense. That does make the most sense. Yes. He would have been 12 when Batman was on the air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> wow, he's really going at it. Yeah. I I better better dent in this cheese. All right, should we do the scene? Not, yeah, we're gonna do the scene. Okay, so are you are you ready to do the scene, Ruth? Uh, right yes, there. I think so. Okay, terrific. Let's let's get ready to hop into the scene. We got the, the slate coming in. <clears throat> third layer, third layer. That's lunch. That's lunch. Oh, okay. Now who, who now who's this gonna okay. be? I'm a different guy. Okay. okay, awesome. All right, well let's. Okay, are you ready to give the slate? You're doing the same pose as the last guy. Whatever. Here we go. I think his face just Here looks we like go. that. Here we go. Oh. Action. <sighs> Jail again. <laughs> yeah, that's this is where we are right now in this place. In New York City. What a bummer. If only we had some way to pass the time. Well, if you reach underneath my left boob flap, I have a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> All I found was some morning Oh, dew. sorry. The right one. You know what we could do, Ruth? What? 525,600 <laughs> minutes. 525,000 moments in jail. 525,000 different meals. How do you measure a prison sentence? In stabbings, uh. in sex, and maybe your I, I don't know a word. I forgot what it's called when they make you not in prison anymore. It's when they take you out behind the prison and they shoot you. 525,600 minutes. How do you measure my jail sentence? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas! Yes, Ruth! Yes, Ruth! What'd you think? Do you have any notes as, as the person who read the scene with them? Uh, notes for what? For the performance. Which performance? The one that just happened. You were reading the other side of that performance. I don't think that was me. It was you, for sure. I saw your mouth moving. You did the reading. We all knew it was you. Mm, no, I was busy. It's hard to see. I have the eyes of a mouse. Uh-oh, we have another guest director. All right, let's bring him in. Who could it be? Oh, oh shit. Hold <laughs> the train, everybody. Thank what you. The train. Mickey, 
Watch out for the train. A right? train? Yes. Yeah, so, what did you say? That? Did you say? Oh. Dang it! I think I lost me too. <laughs> oh no, Mickey! We can't compensate you for that, Ruth. Ruth. Oh, sorry. Ruth. Okay. So, Ruth was reading the scene with you, but as somebody from the like, sort of a third party perspective, I thought it was great that you sort of ran with the musical aspect of this film, which I know we, we sort of undersold in a lot of the promotions for it. Um, I think you got a great set of pipes. Um, I do think that um, sort of the initial scenes, the sort of initial back and forth, you could use a little something. I don't know what. Uh -oh. Did you just burp into the microphone? No. Oh, we got a guest director. What's up, slot? It's me, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Uh, Ruth, you look like you lost some weight. I did, because I died. Oh, shh. It's okay, though. I'm Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Ruth? RBG. Ruth, good to see you again. Ruth, what do you know about RBG that we don't? It's good to see you again, Ruth. <laughs> I well, I wish I could say the same. I used to babysit Ruth, because I'm significantly older than her. Used to babysit my husband, too. Yeah. With your mouth. <laughs> Wait a second, my penis. Oh! Whoa! Excuse oh, me. Oh, excuse oh, me. He was an adult when I blew him. All right? Let's get on the same page about that. Hey, allegedly. Nice. No, not allegedly. Let's get on the same page and it's not allegedly. <laughs> I can be the dead body carcass of a, of a Supreme Court justice and I can talk about sucking dick and saying bitch. But it uh, needs to be consensually with another adult. Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, do you have any uh, notes for Mickey Mouse? <laughs> For those of you who have just arrived, <laughs> yes, just to give you some context, it's me, yeah. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and I have some notes for Mickey Mouse. Try to serve cunt on this one if possible. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. All right, thank you. Try. I hate that bitch. About what's so, folks, uh, if you can't really make heads or tails of what you've just wandered into, I'm happy to explain. I don't know why you wouldn't understand what just happened. Uh, we're making a movie here at ENS Productions. It's called The Good, The Bad, and The Little Bit Bisexual. <laughs> And uh, it's a Williamsburg uh, polycule that must rob a train or face the consequences, okay? So, yeah, rob a train, yeah. It's a bank, girl. Yeah, we know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, there's a bank on, there's a train on the bank. That's right. That's true. Right. There's, there's a bank on the bank. <laughs> you got it, Ruth. <laughs> it happens. That's right, Ruth. <laughs> What's happening over there? Someone died, sorry. Wasn't anyway, it? so uh, we've had a number of actors come in. <laughs> Why do you need to be out there for that? <laughs> I'm the guest director. You're the guest director. It's me. You're never gonna guess the angle on this one. Yeah, I know. Let's stay in the medium. Stay in the medium on this. Let's stay in the medium on this. Really milk it. Hey, it's me, Voodoo Ranger. And you might notice something about me. My tits are so much smaller than before. And what else is going on? For the 500 here? people who got here before the, we established this bit, the last two Voodoo Rangers, they had huge knockers. But me, mm mm. I have a little bit of a different thing going on. Yeah. I love the cool, refreshing taste of Voodoo Ranger, though, and that never changes, no matter how big my penis or uh, boobs are. Yeah, for those who've just showed up, the most important bit of context is that we are sponsored by Voodoo Ranger. That's <laughs> really the most important thing you could possibly know. That man's Yum. not the biggest piece of haggis I've ever seen. <laughs> Why are we cutting down to that? This is what we're going to see every time we cut back to the shot. Why is this happening? Thanks for the money, Voodoo. Thank you, Voodoo. Golly. <laughs> and if I had a piece she hit of him with the golly. Device, it's, um, drink Voodoo Ranger. <laughs> now, Mickey Mouse, who's reading for the part of Chauncey Longbottom, he's one of the members of the polycule. They've been arrested for robbing the train. Or for the attempted robbery of the train. Yeah. The train and, uh, that's the train that's inside of the bank. Yep, yeah. and it, it's the movie's also a musical now. <laughs> So that's sort of what we've got going on right now. And uh, we have some production companies that are attached to help uh, finance the production. If you subscribe, you can add one. ENS Boys Fuck Each Other Company. <laughs> Very good TV. Very great big work. fake ashes. That's a good in. name for a production company, ask me. You agree? You think that's a good idea, Mickey Mouse? Oh, I think it's a great idea. Nice. Write that one down. Right. No, like so we haven't really gotten very many notes for your performance. Uh, for those of you who were here before, do we have any notes for the work that Mickey Mouse has or done so far? Up. Or anyone who just showed up? <laughs> Does anyone who hasn't seen anything that's preceded the moment of your arrival have some notes for Mickey Mouse? Some things that he could do better in the next read? This one's kind of like the hateful eight. <laughs> I was just thinking that. What do you mean by that? I mean by what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you saying th this scene is sort of like the hateful eight? 
That's weird. Why would you say that? You said this is sort of like the hateful eight. No. <laughs> Didn't happen. Um, we're hearing from Swoopa Loop. <coughs> oh, oh, he could do it a little more sexy, and I agree. Voodoo I think. Guest director. Awesome. Let's bring him out. Uh, hey, I'm Voodoo Ranger, but I have a huge, huge hog and giant tits, but you can't see it all because I was just in the hospital. Drink Voodoo Ranger. Oh. Uh, well, we never got to really pay off that. We're looking at your midsection here. Let's get the camera tilted oh, back up, folks. My feet, One drink, Voodoo Ranger equals one support. <laughs> <laughs> this is rough. I'm gonna run out of chase. This is rough. This is rough stuff. We have another guest director coming in yeah, here in a second. But before we do have them come in, uh, we just need one more note. The sexy note's great. I think that's terrific. He should act like he has ringworm. Thank you, Bitter Snark. Um, Mickey Mouse. I've had ringworm before. I, you know, Ruth, I had a feeling you did. Uh, I Mickey, also had scabies once. I had a feeling, Ruth. <laughs> Mickey. And yeah. gonorrhea. Woo! I'm not clapping for that shit. <laughs> Mickey, have you, ever, have you ever experienced that stuff? <laughs> I've never had an STD. I keep my shit clean. All right. I know that's right. Clean. So maybe you could fill him in. You know, Maruth. Maybe you could uh, tell him a little bit about what it's like to experience a sexually transmitted disease. It's beautiful and it's powerful and it's very itchy, especially around your clitoris. Yep. I can work with that. Another guest director. Oh, yep. White Goku's here. <laughs> hey, it's me, White Goku. Thanks for the. <laughs> I'm sure the big entrance there. Thank you for really setting me up for a big, big, exciting walk on. There. Holy shit, White Goku. Yeah, this was, oh, yeah, this was going to play like fucking fireworks. It was going to fucking crush. Yeah. Hey, what's up? It's me, White Goku. Uh, decided I, maybe I'm into film. This summer I'm thinking maybe I'm into film, so my dad pulled some strings and now I'm on set. Uh, that's really cool. I miss Piccolo every day. Uh, we're, we're on Zoom calls, but it's not the same. Could you? Uh, White Goku, have you ever had a sexually transmitted disease? Uh, no. Luckily, I've been able to avoid that one. Um, but yeah, I, what do you mean, right. that one? There's a bunch of them. Just getting uh, SE, but I have had HPV my whole life. Can you uh, do me a favor? What's up? I've always wanted to see this in person. But can you do the whole thing where your head turns yellow and you scream? Where I go Super Saiyan? I think it's so you gotta go Super Saiyan for me. So I haven't been able to go Super Saiyan yet, but what's good is I've had a, a really supportive group of people around me that are that are <laughs> setting up. me up for a world where up. when I do go Super Saiyan... It sounds like, like no. you're a pussy man. No, 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 no. I've, I've been really like This lucky. guy looks like a pussy. Oh, no, he smells like such a pussy. I've been like, really lucky to be around like supportive group of people that say like when the time comes that I can go Super Saiyan, they're gonna put me in the right rooms for those, for like pussy. that meeting to happen. Yeah, whatever. You're a piece of minge. Sorry I'm late. Oh, White Pussy is here. That's awesome. Uh, White, Sorry, Goku, White Goku. White Goku, you're giving pussy. Thank you. Can I give my note for the actor now? Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Try uh, to view each see each take as the first time you've ever done it. So it might be helpful between takes to maybe leave the room, uh, kind of get in your own headspace again. It Try sounds like beef flaps in the wind. That's just me. Wow. The air conditioner on? Get an oscillating fan over here for Ruth. Oh, <laughs> One more time. Can we get that again? Let's get that again. Get wild lines on. Foley, thank you. All right. Really terrific. We really terrific. Really really yeah, it's my time to go. I was going to do a bit. It doesn't matter. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wait, 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 uh, oh, oh, no. He's bit. No. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, well, let's run this scene one more time, okay? I think, uh, Ruth, we'll have you read for that part again. Okay. We'll have you read the other character in the scene. Okay. Uh, are you feeling ready? Uh, are you feeling ready, Mickey Mouse? Ready. What'd you say? Ready. Oh, okay. I thought you called me Lenny. Ready. All right. Now, ready. Okay, yep, we're, we're, let's get the slate. Action. Man, prison again. <laughs> this sucks. What do you think, Ruth? Um, I fell asleep earlier on the mattress over there and I peed a little bit. Ruth, don't pee. If anything- I can't help it. Just listen to my advice. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not afraid <laughs> to stay in jail. Everybody, 
<laughs> Smells hey, like, like seaweed. seaweed. <laughs> oh man, this prison, it's really hard. There's no more guards that are really nice. Everybody is so mean. Maybe you and me should be a prison team. Everybody thinks that prison's so scary. Man, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna pop my cherry. This prison shit, I'm built for this. I'm the king. If you know me, this shit, it's fucking lame. A prison sentence? I got a pen. Let me write that shit down. I'm the king of this pen. Etentiary. Yeah, that's right. This shit is elementary. Sherlock, take it away. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Ruth, that's not the line. Ruth, it's not the line. Try again. That's all I can remember. Yeah, oh, well, you you did your best, Ruth. Thank you. <sighs> and cut. All right, Mickey. I thought. Um, cut. Yep. Well, what did you think? What did you think, Ruth? Um, I like the part where he did the poetry. Uh, we are gonna have to pay a fortune to, to the. It's rice, called rap rice, music. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get with the times. Are you familiar with rap music? I am not. <laughs> oh. Okay. You should check out Elmatic. It's maybe the best right, album ever. No, thank you. We got some guest directors. Open swords. <laughs> we got some guest directors coming in. Let's take oh, a look. Maybe it's some me, the real Voodoo Ranger. <laughs> no, I'm the real Voodoo Ranger. Wait, what? What the heck? But I have big boobs. But I have a huge hog off screen. <laughs> Zoe Mara. What is this? What are we looking at here? What is happening? What Chat, who do you stab? Chat, who do you stab? Who's the Voodoo Ranger? All the crime click maps. Oh, we have click maps turned on. So go ahead and click on. Go ahead and click on whoever you think the real Voodoo Ranger is. Mickey Mouse is in the other shot. All right. Who's the real who's one the real, of us? Who's the real Voodoo Ranger? <laughs> oh, they're voting for something completely different. Who's the real one? Why don't you tell us something that only the real Voodoo Ranger would know? Ah, uh, how about how delicious the refreshing taste of Voodoo Ranger hard charged tea is? Hey, I was gonna say how delicious and, and <laughs> scrumptious the new Voodoo Ranger hard charged tea is. Well, I guess everybody would know that. But what about how delicious the taste of Voodoo Ranger's fruit something IPA is? Oh yeah, what about how delicious the Voodoo Ranger other uh, IPA is? I was just about to say that. 525,600 minutes! 525,600 minutes! 525,600 minutes! 525,600 minutes! 525,600 minutes! 500 pressure of the Voodoo Ranger! Alright, Big Boob is apparently the real one. Fuck! That's right. God damn it. Come to the bumper! Come to the bumper! I don't have the thing anymore! Oh shit. Oh my god. He's bleeding out! Are we still doing the beat? Yeah, we got it. Oh, you have the job.
Thank you so much. Welcome to the Enskers, everybody. There's only three people here. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Do you talk next or is it me? Ah, uh, supporting actors. Lord, I can't read that. It's you're doing great. You're doing great. Everyone who's in the movie who's not the guy the movie's named after is Folks, so important. Uh, give it up for Blimp Robertson, everybody. He he's, he's an action hero, and he's been going through it a little bit lately, but uh, we still love him, and we still appreciate his impact in the industry. These are the nominees. Okay, hey, 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 okay, it's okay. It's okay. These are the nominees for Best Supporting Actor. Supporting. <clears throat> You okay? <laughs> you okay? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Jeffrey Dean Morgan really transformed himself to play Dan Schneider in a very revelatory bombshell style film. Yes, boo the man, but please clap for Jeffrey Dean Morgan in Goo. I'll let you take this one, pal. I had my reservations about this one initially. But I have to say, Eric Bogosian's work as Hassan Piker in the story of XQC was revelatory. Congratulations on the nomination. I didn't say anything bad. I got close. Ah, uh, Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> I was planning on voting for you for P-R-E-S-I-D-E-N-T-E, -E -E, baby. <laughs> Guess I just had to vote for you for Best Supporting Actor for playing Moanga in the live-action film Moanga. Dis Dis Disney boy, boy. Re really outdid themselves this year. And I'm just, boy howdy, I'm so glad to see you, uh... A dramatic turn for Bob Odenkirk, and it, I, this fair critic wants to say it paid off in Swag Pope, the story of a pope with too much swag, so the Vatican gets mad at him. My grandkids won't stop doing the Swag Pope dance. Do the Swag Pope. Do the swag, Pope. Blimp, blimp. Take it easy. Take it easy. I think I hurt myself. It's okay, Blimp. It's okay. One more. One more. Hey, one more. One more. You're doing great. I love you, man. I love you too. I love you too. Not now. Not now. Not now. Not now. Stay with me. Stay with me. You're ne an actor. Next, You're an actor. Next up. <laughs> and finally, David Schwimmer. <laughs> say, say the actor's name, not just the character. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm sorry. Lakeith Stanfield is David Schwimmer. <laughs> In Friend, <laughs> the dramatic film that told the real story behind one of the most popular comedy TV shows ever made. He looks bad, man. He's looking not good. And finally, our last nominee. <laughs> For the role of... The hell am I looking Nandre, but what if he have big titty? <laughs> Who is that one guy? Who? He's the one guy in all those... Alfred Molina. No, he's in all the Tarantino movies. Michael Madsen? No, no. He's a small Samuel guy. Samuel He's a small guy. Leonardo Michael Caden. No, he's a small guy. Brad he's, he's older. He's Italian. He gets, he gets angry. Christoph Waltz? James McAvoy. No, no. None of those guys. None of those guys. Is it... He's an older guy. He gets angry. Michael Parks. No, no. Smaller guy. Joe Peck. Harvey Keitel. <laughs> That's a good way to describe him, I think, actually. And then, As Nandre, but what if he have big titty? In the movie, Nandre, but what if he have big titty? And now... The winner... God, these dang envelopes, can't even see them. Oh wait, sorry, I need to make a clarification. Nandre, the actor... Wait, stick with me here. Nandre played Harvey Keitel playing Nandre in the movie about in the movie about 
Nandre, but what if he had big titty? There we go. There's a secondary movie happening in which Harvey God. Keitel is playing God. Nandre. God. <laughs> now, Nandre God. played Harvey God. Keitel, who's playing Nandre God. in the movie. So it's it's a little Charlie Kaufman-esque in this way that I think everyone really enjoyed. And the winner is... <laughs> what are you doing? Nandre! <laughs> Hello, it's me, Harvey Keitel. Nandre couldn't make it. <laughs> what a rope a uh, Really excited for this big award for my good boy. Gonna bring it home. Probably gonna pick up some Baskin Robbins. Celebrate the dub. Thank so you so you're, much. You're Harvey Keitel playing Nandre, playing Harvey Keitel playing Nandre. I want method. <laughs> you did it again, Charlie. Yeah, so uh, make sure you check out our new movie where I'm going to be playing Nandre, playing Javi Keitel, playing Nandre, playing Javi Keitel. As Nandre. And now, presenting the award for best lead. Oh, I'll just fuck myself. Go ahead, go on stage. <laughs> Hey, it's the two Voodoo Rangers. We settled our di differences and got uh, breast reduction surgery and hog reduction surgery. That's right. Our breasts and hog are now normal size. But you know what's not normal size? These performances. They were so big, we said, what the heck? These performances are huge in the movies. So and, big. Yep. So let's talk about You You can take this one. <laughs> you sure? This you got this you. one, bro. <laughs> Why don't you take it, dude? You got this one, bro. Nah. Is that Randy Juneswer? Why don't you take it, dude? You got it, bro. Alright. It's right there on the prompter. Why don't you just read it? Yep. For the role of... Randy Cheeseburger, I think is what I heard Andre say. For the role of Randy Cheeseburger... Uh... <laughs> They said David Hasselhoff couldn't pull it off. <laughs> but here he is as Big Stuff Bear in Big Stuff Bear Returns 2. Woo! It's the sequel to the sequel. Big Returns was a sequel, but Big Returns 2. Uh, okay, we're just moving on. For the movie that made everybody say, that ain't that guy that I remember. Oh! Whoa! Ice cream cone. Thank you so much for the $50. Anyway, this obviously is Little Bird, and it was played by <laughs> Diane Keegan. <laughs> She's looking good. Oh. Good. And Jennifer really Lopez stuff. really stepping out of her comfort zone. God, look how fucking cool this guy looks. To, to play uh, uh, Capuchin Monkeys, the documentary. <laughs> where we thought it was a, a full actual documentary about Capuchin Monkeys, but turns out it was just J-Lo in a, in a fursuit. Really convincing. Congratulations on the nomination. And who could forget the movie that had us all saying... What? What? Is that awesome? Randy Cheeseburger. What? <laughs> Randy Cheeseburger. <laughs> Both characters are Randy Cheeseburger? <laughs> and you haven't said an actor? No, I'm just playing around. That's Walter Mellon. <laughs> Walter Mellon, played by... George Clooney. <laughs> He's still got it! And last but not least, our final nominee... <laughs> Sandwich, plain sandwich, in starting a fire from scratch. Who could forget? And the winner is... Sandwich! sandwich! Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Oh my gosh! Take your, Take your, uh, award. your prize. This delicious, refreshing Voodoo Ranger hard charge tea. Ma, thank you so much. I want to. I want to thank my mom and. What? I just want to thank my mom. What? I want to thank my dad. Yeah. And Jerry from H and R Block. Woo! Woo! And that one guy that was on the stage earlier, even though his hog looks smaller than I can remember. <laughs> Are you done? Is there more to the speed? Oh. Hell yeah. yeah. All right, best picture. We've got it.
Hi there, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for returning after watching the Eskers. What a terrific ceremony that oh, was. George Romero just followed us. George Romero, more like Night of the Living, living, because we're living for this hilarious comedy. Okay, so. Perfect. Night of the Living Now. Night of the Living Now. More like Night of the Living Everything, because <laughs> this is everything to me. Because this comedy shit is everything to me. Uh, so, folks, you're back. Oh, is the mic up? Do we have the mic? Why would it be? I don't why know. Mike Who can up? say why it would be up? You fucking moron. Hi there. Uh, folks, thank you for returning from the Enskers. Uh, I've got some sad news. Remember Ruth from earlier? She kicked the friggin' bucket. She's dead now. Aww. She passed away at the tender age of 72. Too young, too young. We know it's too young. Well, God, train, hold train coming. Train, train, everybody. Train. Hold you. for train, hold for train. Well below the human average lifespan. Simply too young. But the good news is, in the, world the good news places. is, the good news is, her granddaughter's here. What's up? My you name's Katie. Katie, are you excited to make a major motion picture today? Whatever. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, buck up, Katie. Get excited. We're making magic. We're making movie magic. I made crack cocaine in my trailer earlier. Yeah! You got a trailer! Nepo, baby. Like grandmother, like granddaughter, I suppose. Uh, using crack cocaine and uh, being a general ruckus. <laughs> anyway, so folks, we're going to need to uh, to get the, the next character name, okay? Uh, I think this is the character who's the, the detective who's on the trail of these people who are trying to rob a train that's on a bank. A train that's on a bank. That's right. And uh, and so we need the name of that particular bank. inspector. It's on top of a bank. It is on top of a bank. Yeah. For those of you, for those of you wondering, for those of you wondering logistically how this works, imagine a cross-country train line, but it's entirely located on top of a bank. You take an elevator to the roof of the bank. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just sort of as a train that circles around at the top of a bank. Yeah. What? Herman Guilty, uh, Theodore Hot. What was that? Sorry. Theodore Hot Twink Roosevelt, Dick Buttkiss, John Bon Jovi, O.J. Simpson, General Ruckus, Inspector Dick, Midal Ernest, Spock, Adrian Bicker Bonnet, Hugh Jungus. Bicarbonate. Wide Goku, uh, Hi Hornswoggle Pooper the Third. Right. You're so right. Hello, Sergeant Dick Hog Biggers. Yeah, Dick I'm Hog just on this like <laughs> I'm on this stupid thing with this jackass. Judd He's like 70 years old, and they they're trying to make me do. It's like for my bitch. It was you remember Ruth? Cut, yeah. She just they're died. Huh? Your oh, grandmother. The bitch. She just. She died just passed away. Ago. Her body's. So her body's in the corner. Died. Her body is propped up in the corner. I already took the money out of it. <laughs> out of it? Out, out of it? <laughs> Let me put you on speaker real quick. You I just got my ears pierced. <laughs> Are you taking an order? Are you taking an order? What's happening? I have to make money so that I can buy more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> What, are are the kids still playing? Are they still? Are the kids still playing Yu-Gi-Oh? I'm trying to listen. All right. Hey man, can you fuck right off? I'm, I'm busy right now. My grandma just died. You insensitive prick. Two more subs. Stay it out for yourself. Two more subs. We're so close. Hey, we have several. Jer uh, we're not doing Jared Subway. That's not happening. Here's the production companies. <laughs> Jerry Fuckheimer Productions. The real Mickey Mouse. Uh, bitch ass white Goku LLC and dismissive jerk off motion pictures. Per Studios. Terrific. Studio, excuse me. Studios. Oh, gosh. The, all the names are up. All the names are gone. They're just, they're, they're gone now, unfortunately. There's some good ones on there. There were some good ones somewhere. Where'd they go? Does someone just grab a name from somewhere else in the chat? Does somebody scroll up and take in a look? In the meantime, can we meet one of our guest directors? Sure, Shercock Holmes. That's perfect. Shercock Holmes. That's a terrific... That's actually the best one we got. And it's right there at the end. It's perfect. Shercock Holmes is the name of the character. And uh, we're going to get some actors in. Um, do you know anything about acting, sweetheart? Uh-uh. I know a little bit about doing a kickflip, though. Hell Yeah. I also have a UTI. Yup. 
I know that's right. All right, well, let, let, despite your health issue, let's try to focus in on this here audition, okay? Let's do our best here. Hi, hey. Oh, who's this? Uh, Bob Iger. Hi, I was called in. I figured I'm not an actor, so it doesn't really make sense for me to coach the actors. So I figured I could coach you a little bit on how to make this thing really sing. Okay, well, you, ha you happen to be a loathsome. <laughs> what was that? One more time. Sorry. No, go ahead. Do it one more time. No, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, um, Bob, I was just going to say that you're a loathsome, lowly little piece of shit, and I think that you are maybe lower than dirt. Uh, I think that you're a conniving son of a bitch who's just the nastiest motherfucker on the planet. I think that you should be um, rotting. You should be uh, strung up in the street and uh, made to basically pay for your crimes, your crimes against humanity, which are, of course, being a nasty little CEO freak who's a piece of shit. He kind of looks like my stepdad, Jason, except somehow more of a pervert. <laughs> You think he's more of a pervert than your other? Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. I'm glad we can live in a country where we're allowed to have different opinions, and it's very important that I think we protect that. That's so great of you to say that, buddy. Ha ha ha. You're just like that all the time, huh, Bob? Ha <laughs> ha! It's pretty scary stuff, don't you think? Yeah, I feel like he's gonna take his hog out. <laughs> Are you gonna take your hog out, hog out Bob? Hey, what's she up to later? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he's just like Jared. Just for the record, how old are you? Oh man. Let's be careful here. Let's be careful. Old here. enough? A just allegedly. <laughs> just okay. turned. All right. Yeah. Great, and I, before I heard that, let's let's you and I hang out later, huh? I'm busy that day. Oh, crud, crud. Okay. Hey, listen, rectangle. Um, I think you made the right call, kiddo. Huh. Rectangle, I have such bad news. You know the movies we have all queued up to be released by the studio? Yeah. Yes, you uh, now have assumed all debts and liabilities for them, and they have been permanently erased off all computers that they existed on. Have a great rest of your day. So good to see you. I love when we get to hang out like this. Girl next to him, please come to my office later. <laughs> please. Please. If you, you know, know she, if hey, you know what's good hey, for you, if you know what's hey, if you know what's hey, good motherfucker, for you, listen to me, there, listen to me, there. listen to me. She has a fucking name. Why don't you use it? Yeah. What's your name? What was your name? <sighs> Katie. Katie. If you're, if you're gonna make a pass at yeah. Katie, you better use her freaking name. Katie, what if I told you you could be a narrator on any Discovery Plus oh. show you want? <laughs> Why does it kind of remind me of Chris Hansen? Play it cool, Bob. Okay, all right, I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, I'm gonna get out of here. All right, all right. Huh. We got one more guest director. Hey, that's great for you. Yeah. What just happened? That's great for you. I guess. I mean, you're set up for success. Three stepdads. So. Yeah, I got a guest director. You didn't even have an actor. Either. We haven't had an actor, but we've got a guest director. Let's, br let's bring him out. Hello there. Hi there. What's your name? Hello, David Lynch. Whoa. <laughs> David Lynch. Wow. Uh, I, I. You're too bogged down in the meaning. The meaning. <laughs> it's very personal. Yeah. You know, everybody has their own meaning, and it just matters to you. It doesn't. Your meaning doesn't matter to me. I guess that's true. I found most of your films to be totally inscrutable, though. We're trying to make a major motion picture that makes a lot of money. So, Laura, you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Laura Dern, you know Laura Dern? Oh, my God. Do I know? Yeah, I know Laura Dern. She's sure. stunning. She's everything. She's magnificent. You're the best. She she's not here. She's big old honkers. She actually does have big fairly large. Big old bazongas. She does have fairly large breasts. Take That's true. Big old biddies. Yep. She does have Yes, she's hair. the one with the big boobs. <laughs> now let me tell you one thing. If I've learned anything in this business, it's that you need a big boy chocolate milkshake. All the chemicals, the Xanthan 35, the red number four, get that inside you because of that baby, that's where the creativity starts. All right, so we'll do what we can to get some milkshakes flown in from Bob's. Uh, great to know, great to know. Uh, David, thank you so much. Um, I I'm glad that you're still doing your thing. I don't think he's blinked once. I, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't have time to blink. I've got to get this shot. Yes. Wow, that's great. Woo! All right, well, let's get this next actor in here. Oh, perfect. That guy just grabbed me. That's lunch. I'm sorry, what? That's lunch. I'm sorry? That guy, just, whoever that guy was, just grabbed me. That was me. <laughs> you grabbed him? What up? It's me, Chrysalis. Chrysalis. <laughs> uh, Chrysalis, you're here to audition for the part of Shercock Holmes. Read this, baby. Pimp? Yeah, that's right. That's me. <laughs> 
That's me. I'm here to get some clips. It kind of looks like if Justin Bieber and MGK ran into each other really fast. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> That's how you respond? That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Wow. So, I mean, do you retain their memories? Do you have sort of like their... Huh? Never mind. So, uh... Someone you... dropped like a gold Bible on the ground. They both like sprinted forward as fast as they could. <laughs> Ran into each other. And now you're that one, you're one guy. It's one... me, Chrysalis. Chrysalis. Okay, Chrysalis. Yeah. I've just been hanging out at, uh... uh I kind of just hang out at, at Billy Eilish's studio and do knife tricks while they kiss. <laughs> Phineas and Phineas and Billy. <laughs> Aren't they siblings? Aren't they siblings? Yeah. That's... Yeah, but come on. Yeah. But you know, you. but you know, they're 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 kissing, yes. you know. Incest. Oh, you have your knife. That's perfect. Could you do some knife tricks for us right now? Yeah, check this out. <laughs> Damn, this guy's awesome. That's the trick. I want him in the studio. Boo. You just grabbed the blade. You just grabbed like the, the sharp part. I'll do it again. No, bro. hey, whoa, whoa. I'll do it again, bro. Okay. I'm fucking crazy, bro. I'm fucking crazy, dude. You don't know what I do next. How's right, well, that for a trick? Okay, you just calm down. So uh, I'm here to get some clips for my TikTok. I heard a different thing the first time you said that. I'm hoping when I get this movie, you know, when they break it up all in the TikTok clips, I can, you know, put on my TikTok because nobody watches movies these days. Am I right? They just watch the clips. I know that's right. Yeah. They just watch movies. the clips, baby. It's not about the meaning. They just watch the. They just watch the clips. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So look, <laughs> Chrysalis, uh, you are two very famous performers. You are two very famous performers that have been fused together, so you've got a lot of experience to bring to this role. That's right. Um, is there is there anything in particular that you think calls to you as the character of a detective who's trying to stop a train robbery? <laughs> hey, Chrysalis, can I have one of your Zin? Yeah, bro. Oh, be careful, though. Those are the old those extra strength. Stronger? They're the extra strength, oh, no. brother. You're on the extras these days? I'm on the extras these You're days. Wild. I have an issue. I have a problem. You do, bro. Yeah, I got so the sixes. Wild. I got them Zen sixes. Crystal, she should I got have... them Zen sixes. Crystal, she should I'd have be have sitting on a bunch of stickses. <laughs> are you are Come you on, a give me a little bit of lickses on my tongue. Yeah. Go up. I'm feeling like King Kong. And you're Godzilla. We should fight. Yeah. Anybody got a light? Oh, flick, flick. Blick, blick. Bick, bick. That's the type of pen I use. And a lighter. Because I, I can't afford a, a, one of those G5 nice pens. Uh, so, Kelly, you're a little younger. Does that click for you? Is <laughs> it's not Kelly, it's Katie. Katie, does that, does that scan for you? Is like a good rap? A good um, rhyme? I looked him up on TikTok earlier. He has 16 followers. Hey, that's pretty good. That's gonna change soon when I get these clips going. Sixteen whole people. That's a lot. You know, that's a lot of people. This is immediately too strong. The Zen's too strong for the PA. The Zen's immediately making the Zen was too strong. Yeah, I feel, I feel bad right now. Uh, <laughs> Chrysalis, you seem to be kind of you have a bad boy flavor to you. Can we trust that you're gonna be responsible on the set? Nah. <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna be bad. This guy's awesome. All right, what is bad. now? Other than the knife tricks and giving Zinda random I've PAs, I've been spitting all over this place. Other than giving Zinda ran, random PAs, what does bad mean to you? What's the what's the bad behavior that we can expect? I've been from you spitting everywhere. Yeah, I, right, I see that. There's I just stepped in it. There's oh, big. God. There's big. They, it almost looks like ooh, like ooze from like Spider-Man Three, the Venom. It looks like some sort of sick. When you have a lot of Zins, your 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 spit just turns into this kind of like sticky gelatinous Whoa. mixture. We've just fired the PA who ate the Zin, Go or who you know, stuffed the Zin. <laughs> that we makes fired sense. Into the hospital. Yeah, we fired him to the hospital. So look, you're you're playing a character, Sherlock Holmes. Um, have you ever had to solve a mystery in your life? Oh, I just noticed there's a girl next to you. What's up? She's been here this whole time. We talked to her earlier. You just what you up? were speaking with hell. What up? She's taken by Bob Iger. Oh shit! You're with the Igs. I wear many hats. You're with the Igs. Yeah. Are you exclusive yeah, with Bob? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can... Never mind. So bro, bro said the Igs of March. That was good. We got a guest director. You know, oh great, that's terrific. Let's bring them in. <laughs> yes, this is such a good. Here idea. we go. This is great. Awesome. Who is this? That's so good. Oh my god, it's his face! Look at him! It's so good. It's yeah. really crazy how good this is. Who is this? Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> if the voice didn't give it away. Oh, well, well. This is so good! <laughs> it's me, Taco Matiti! <laughs> <laughs> this is so 
Oh my god, it's crazy. He directed the soccer movie. He did the movie about the soccer stuff. Air Bud. <laughs> not quite. I love when you're Hitler, dude. I love when you're Hitler. Great character. Yeah, you know, not my best, but not my worst. <laughs> Could we get you to do a little bit of your Hitler voice for us, please? Uh, sure. <clears throat> it sounds a little like this. <laughs> Dude, it's just like it, man. That's awesome. Uncanny. It's like it really there at the third right thing. I feel like Hitler's in the room right now. Yeah. <laughs> Taika, you're kind of a shilly guy. Do you have any advice on how to maximize the silliness of a particular role? Absolutely. No jokes. Nice. It sort of runs counter to the standard practices. No, trust me. You should not be funny. People will love it. You're saying you should make a movie that's like neither funny nor dramatic. Not it's engaging. my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of nothing. It like picks nowhere, and so it's just sort of blank, and you can make it whatever. Come on. Didn't you watch the Thor movies? <laughs> Did you like the Thor movies, Katie? Um, I've never seen them. I tried to watch half of them, and I fell asleep because I was all jacked up on ketamine. You're going places, kid. We should do K after this. Hey, does he? Did you just flip him off? <laughs> did, <you> just... <laughs> did he just compliment you and you flipped him off? Is that what happened, Katie? No. Okay. Hey, hey, not not to make this show like uh, you know make sense or anything, but Tyke is famously uh, an actual in open direct relationship. Oh. So could we get some advice about that in terms of the bisexual polycule and stuff? Absolutely. You should watch. <laughs> Thanks, Taika. All right, let's run it. <laughs> That's all the time we have for Taika. Thank you, Taika. We're flying Taika out. That guy reminds uh, me of my other stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your mom? Oh, man, that's really scary. Fuck I know. <laughs> that's really, you don't know who your mother is? <laughs> so you know your stepfathers, but you yeah, don't know your mother. biological mother. <laughs> your mom would marry someone and you would only meet him. <laughs> <laughs> what do I look like a fucking family wreath nowhere? What? What do you what did you say? What did you just say? Family the family wreath. wreath. You know, the family wreath that you do it for school. Yo, I'm oh, kind of right, vibing. Right, I'm right. kind of vibing with my boy. I'm kind of vibing with my boy. What's up, dude? What's your name, bro? What's your name, dude? Yo, you wanna start like a mumble rap duo? <laughs> Thank you, Junk Nail. Thanks, Junk Nail. You guys look so cool. You would make a good group. Oh, we got another guest director. Fuck me, running. All right. And who's this? Another voodoo ranger with a cock around or whatever? Is that doing anything for you? It's between the CEO of the Walt Disney Company and that man. Towards the blue collar guy that looks like little A rap song that samples Cotton Eye Joe is actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> Chrysalis and and what's your name again? <laughs> Chrysalis and. <laughs> Sorry, you're ready to get into the scene. We have another guest director. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pizza. Do you want to do some knife tricks while we wait? Oh, who's this? Hey, it's me, Bluto from Popeye. <laughs> I'm the guy we who's have like the Bluto. most like him. We I'm have the guy Bluto who's here. The most like him in the room. I disagree. Right. I disagree strongly. I went keto. You went keto. I went keto, and now I'm not that big anymore. Yeah. So you're famously trying to abduct a young woman, olive oil. Yes, I'm trying to kidnap a woman. All right, it's very similar to what a detective would do, don't you think? Get this, get you have any advice for how to? Shit, you have any advice on how to play a detective? Just the fuck away from me. Do you have any advice on how to play a detective? Eat a bunch of hamburgers all the time. All right, I gotta get out of here. That's the wrong character. That's wimpy. That's wimpy. That is wimpy. You got it wrong. Doesn't eat hamburger. I don't know what you heard yeah, about me. I'm a motherfucking PIP, and it's gonna send you to me. Is that a motherfucking P-I-M-P? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Would you like to read the other character? Katie's vibing. Scene? Yo, Katie, we should vibe after this. <laughs> Katie, would you like to vibe with that man? Um, with that nice man? With, I, I'm busy that day. What? He didn't establish a day for vibing. He's with Bob that day. Yeah, me and Bobby got some things we got to do. <laughs> I get it. You're into powerful men. 
Oh. I'll be there one day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the weird little stepdad guy just poked all my Birkenstocks. <laughs> Look. Not the Birkenstocks. No, oh my god, wow. Oh, can we pu man. can we punch in on the Birkenstock hole? <laughs> Let's get him. Somebody asked no, me. No punching. All right. No punching. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Subscribe to the Patreon. Elmo. Are we ready to get into the scene, or do we need another guest we, we director? We really should just. We should just do oh, the scene. Gotta do it. Oh, I need to get the location and the tone still. <laughs> 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 ah, I'm kidding. It's ah. a cemetery, and it's a it's an Oscar. No, it's a kids movie. Hang on, hang fucking on. perfect. Another guest director. Got your ass though. <laughs> Oh, no. You did get I don't me. know what you heard about me. What's up? But if you can't get a dollar out of me. Are you well? Are you well? Are you are you right in the head? Holy shit. Nice. Wow, it's him. <laughs> it's me, Stanley Kubrick. Wow. Wow. Stanley, you're Hang on, let him finish the song. You know this is for real what my dad looked like when he married my mom? That's cool. He I think really I just started like my period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a Kubrick stare. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, hold that. Oh wait, that's the closest we can zoom, actually. Never mind. I got a Kubrick stare. We got, we've flown in some pads for... <laughs> or just napkins, I think. No, they're just napkins. Did we just give you napkins? Oh, come on now. All right. Stanley... Can I give my note? Yes, for the love of God, give your note. Hey. If you're doing this movie with two people who, uh, let's say they're in a relationship, okay. what you should do is you should create a strange dynamic with them sexually that causes a lot of fraught tension between them. Okay. Maybe initially you set up a situation where the male thinks he's in some kind of sexual power because he's sleeping with someone he wouldn't normally have privy to sleeping with. <laughs> However, then you gradually reveal that you've been controlling the sexual tryst and have the ability to stop at any time you want. Who's really in control? Okay, is, that a, is that a Voodoo Ranger shirt? <laughs> <laughs> is Stanley Kubrick sponsored by Voodoo Ranger? We'll never know. <laughs> okay, sure. Action! Yo, why'd you have to die on me? <laughs> why'd you have to die on me? Why you gotta die on me? <laughs> Why you gotta lie on me, girl? Why you gotta die on me? Why you gotta lie on me, girl? Yeah, she dead on the cock. Yeah, yeah, she dead on the block. Oh, oh, she dead on the cock. Oh, oh, she dead on the block. She's dead on the cock? Did you just say that? What the fuck was that? And cut. Cut! All right. Oh, nope, get out of the scene. You get PA, get out of the scene, get out of the scene. All right, that was a great version of the scene where you monologue about the, the life that you've taken as a detective. Um, I thought you gave it a sort of an urban flair that I like quite a bit. Urban? That was that? fucking sick. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Say that again, rectangle. No, nah, I think I'll pass. Maybe I said something wrong. Hey, <laughs> maybe I said so I could have said something wrong. Who can say? Um, listen, Chrysalis, I thought that was pretty good. I what do you think about that? I freaking love this guy, dude. Oh, I thought it was pretty sick. I love uh, this guy. I don't really have a whole lot of feedback. This guy's sick. Up, One more time. Oh, What's your name again, bro? Nice. Hey, this is all about paper. Check. <laughs> Oh shit, it's Clee Eastwood himself. Grand Torino. Do you ever know Clint? Yo, hit that beat. Grand Torino. Hold on, actually. Hold on. Here's my note for you. Here's the notes that you don't play. I still got it. Knife drops. 150 souls on that plane and 150 notes that you don't play. <laughs> I 
Saúde. Hey, the, the good, the bad, and the bisexual, what did you think, opening night? Man, I was in this movie and it sucked ass. Oh yeah. All my clips are doing terrible on TikTok. <laughs> I only got one follower, posted like 1,500 clips. This is ass, bro, this movie sucks. Who were you in the movie again? I was the detective that sang about the person dying, remember? Oh yeah, Why yeah. Why would you die on me? Why would you lie on me, girl? Good, the bad, and the bisexual. What did we think? Opening night. I mean, I won in this movie, and I only like penis, and now I think I like vagina and penis. Hey, 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 stop right there. Stop right there. No, no. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 buddy. What's buddy. up? You, you just walked out of the movie. What did you think of it? I didn't hear much. I have my headphones on the whole time. Now I can't find them. Do you know where they are? No. Did you watch the whole movie with headphones on? Yes, I was trying to fix the gutter inside the theater. <laughs> Wait, you were trying to fix the gutter in the theater? I'm on the job right now. Hey, hey, hey. They won't let you go in naked there. Someone's coming. <laughs> Everyone just be cool, someone's coming. Everyone just... Someone's, that guy wasn't right. I didn't like that guy's vibe. Just immediately got a bad read on him. But someone else is coming soon and I'm gonna interview them. Hey, hey, what, what did you think of the good, the bad, and the bisexual? I thought that it was kind of shit. Give me all your money. I don't oh. have any, I'm Give broke, I spent it all, I'm money. sorry, I spent all the room. Give me your money! Yeah. I shouldn't have kept filming that. I felt weird about that. Hey, buddy. What's up? Uh. <laughs> Give me your cheese. It's really nice that guy doesn't steal my camera every time he robs the people I interview. Hey, what's up, dude? What year is it? <laughs> Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Someone's walking out of that AMC. Hey, what up, bitch? What's up? So good to see you. So good to see you. What did you think of the movie? I didn't see it. Uh, someone's coming. <laughs> someone's coming out of that Hard Rock Cafe any minute. Hey, hey, you. Hey. What did you think of the movie, Good, Bad, and the Bisexual? Oh, I mean... It was nice seeing bisexuality represented. Uh, it, it, I feel like I haven't seen that since my other favorite movie, uh, Rent, by Chris Columbus. You know that song, uh, 525,600 minutes. 
525,600 men. Come on, everyone, in Times Square. 525,600 men. 525,600 men. Oh, 525,600 minutes in daylight. 525,600 daylights. Yes. 525,600 minutes. 525,600 minutes. Uh, 4 nights a week every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday so you've got to come on back. Uh, that information is down here as well as all of our socials. Please follow all these various socials it helps us so much and in particular, please join our Discord. All the the nominees today you saw, if you saw it, came from the Discord. That's you. And I'm also, also going to post a special behind the scenes picture of Nandre in the Discord wow. right now. Wow. Yeah. Put in the sub I only, right? Oh people. yeah, I'm putting it in the sub only channel of the Discord. We've been experimenting with putting BTS photos and videos in the sub only chat in the Discord. So, if you want to see some behind the scenes pho photography of the show, Maybe consider subscribing. I don't well, let's know. Let's just say that's a foreshadowing to some paywalling you might be anticipating in the near future. That sounds so, so awful. A terrific way to, to just launch keep an eye out for having to give us more money in the near future. <laughs> to pivot, uh, let's thank the Go Off Kings for their like 500, 600 person. 525,600 raiders. Thank you so much. We love the Goo Crew, and thank you for. We also got another smaller raid earlier. Uh, just thanks for everyone for watching and joining us and hanging out. Um, join the Discord. And God, this episode was so fun, but it wouldn't have been as fun without our amazing special no guests. No way. Let's bring them up. Hey, no way. I forgot their names. It's Sandwich and Andre. Hey, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come stand under the Everything No Show sign. Hit the pose for the gram. Let's get a pose. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's right. Samuel and Natalie, thank you so much for doing the show. This was awesome. Terrific work. Wow. Uh, Do you have any, anything to plug that's a, maybe a Twitch channel or two? I, yeah, I mean, I'll be I'll be on Master Baker this week. Mm -hmm. and oh, shit. I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, Whoa! Yeah. Why'd you say that? Oh. Um, yeah, I'll be streaming all week in the evenings, and then catch me on Cutie's channel for Master Baker in the mornings. Hell yeah. Uh, Check it out. I got two plugs. First plug. The boys got brand new merch, so go check out the merch, because I got the hat and it's awesome. I wear it at the grocery store. The oh. hat is sold out, but there is a, a new brand hat new hat coming. A new, a new, hat hat coming. Hat, new hat, new hat, new hat, new hat. It's coming soon. A second oh, hat. Oh, we have? A second hat. Well, is guess merch what? Page. Even better, guys, if you didn't know this, if it's your first time here, type one. This entire crew, me and Sam included, will be performing at the Republican <laughs> National <laughs> Convention <laughs> next week in Irvine. Hell yeah! Oh, yeah! Is that an urban crew? I have no idea. Like All right, let's raid like somebody. Right if anybody's still here. Please join us on Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific for an all-new episode of Everything Now Show. Featuring... I'm hearing F. Peach Jars. Featuring Peach Jars. IRL. What the hell? Whatever. Oh. If any of you are still watching and we haven't effed... Get hyped for Peach Jars. You're going to be like really excited. It's a great time to F. It's fine. Yeah, honestly, it's the really show is at it. It's perfect F. It's All right. This is just for you people watching the YouTube. This is behind a paywall. Thank you for the and subs. And yet they still... The yeah. F subs. Oh, we're Why back. Why are my nipples always hard? We're back. You guys missed Andre's plug. It was awesome. Time. Come back Thursday <laughs> night. Brand new episode of Everything Now. Yeah, show featuring even. Peach Jars. I don't know how I feel. Live in the studio. All right, let's put that raid. We're unable to raid. We're unable to raid. Maybe you guys lost the internet.
That's been happening a lot lately. Iron Man's been fucked. Fuck Game Spectrum. Spectrum. No, Pete Shard's live. They heard. They heard. They heard. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I might okay. be on a bit of a delay, then. Let me get a fuck Spectrum in the chat. All right. See you guys. Goodbye. Good night. You can probably